Sang Sangaji, um, nice to meet you. Uh, I am Ravijit Kaur from Italy, and I'm very glad to take part to this uh, beautiful initiative that the European Yoga Festival uh, organized. The idea of sharing teachings about Japji Sahib creating a series of 40 days. And I'm very glad to uh, start this journey sharing some insights, some reflections about the, the Mool Mantra. Um, as many of you may already know, Mool Mantra is the seed, the mystical revelation that contains in a very concentrated way all the informations that, that are unfolded and uh, developed in the Japji Sahib and then in the whole Siri Guru Granth Sahib. So we can say that Mool Mantra is the matrix, is the core of all the teachings conveyed by the Sikh Gurus. In a way, everything that came after the Mool Mantra is an explanation and expansion of the Mool Mantra itself. So it is a unity and a whole. And uh, since it is a mystical revelation, very, very, very profound, and since um, it is almost um, inexplicable. Uh, any translation and also any interpretation ends up being just um, partial, let's say. But at the same time, it is possible to share insights, to, sh to share inspiration that the Mool Mantra can give us in order to uh, deepen our relationship with the word of the Guru and to create an stable connection with uh, uh, this primal and this powerful teaching, this powerful knowledge. So we can say that the Mool Mantra reveals at the same time uh, the nature of the cosmos, so the universal nature of the spirit, and at the same time reveals and folds how the universal spirit becomes crystallized, becomes self into each and every being. So as human beings, we have the opportunity to realize consciousness, to become consciously conscious, consci consciously conscious of being a consciousness. And the Mool Mantra reveals beautifully how it can happen, what is the process of it. So... Uh, we can say that in a way it is impersonal, describes an impersonal journey, and at the same time it describes a very personal journey. And at the same time it reveals something of the universal nature, the divine nature of all, as well as it explains and unfolds the uh, lineage of the Ten Siguru that started with Guru Nanak and that is now present and condensed in the living word, in the living Bani of the Siri Guru Granth Sahib, which is the Guru, the, the, the guru number 11, so the permanent continuous Guru, the word itself. So there are many, many layers, many uh, ways to understand Mool Mantra, to approach it. And today we will see uh, very, uh, very simply the meaning of its single words, its single parts. So let's start with Ik. Ik is written as number. So Guru Nanak, to write one, doesn't use the word, uh, the word one, but uses the numeral one in Gurmukhi we can see that the first part, the very first part, is a number. And it contains already a lot of informations. So we can meditate on the nature of the one. And of course, it tells us that one is one, no matter, no matter what it is, if it is male or female or whatever, one is always one, is um, uh, total in itself. Often it is translated as God. Onkar. Onkar is a, is a, a word. Um, are, are two words actually. It is translated as two words. Onkar. 
but it comes from only one sign. That is like a long wave. Ong is the vibration, the vibration, the cosmic vibration that gives birth to the whole creation, Kar. And with Ong, we have an extension of the one. So the uh, creation of time, we can say. Ong expresses a feeling of longing también, uh, <laughs> a feeling of longing too. Uh, and it expresses our deep desire of connecting with the one, with Ik. At the same time as the waves of the ocean, these waves we know cannot really, uh, cannot really uh, never be separated from the ocean itself. So we can also say that through Aum, what we understand is that this separation is the relation, the extension of the one establishes also the relation with every single part of the creation, with, which is Kar. Kar means creation, form, manifestation. So in each and every Kar, in each and every manifestation, there's this vibration, cosmic vibration that is um, anchored, that is generated by Ik, by the one. Satanam. Satanam means true identity or true name. Hmm? We cannot name something if we don't recognize its identity. And without a name, at the same time, we cannot uh, acknowledge the existing of, or existence of, of something. That's why we can translate name and nam as name and identity. So true name, true identity is the uh, essence, is the uh, basic uh, self of all that exists, this true, basic, true uh, essence that permeates everything. The true nature, the true nature of all is truth itself. Kareta Purakha is a kind of paradoxical expression. Kareta means creation, uh, action, not only, but the, the one that creates, the da, that does. So translated as doer, we can find it sometimes. The doer and purak, like purusha, the being, the supreme being, the absolute being. So karta purak unites the uh, self and the doer. Action and being are together and we can meditate on it and think how every single action in our daily life, in our manifestation, can support our being, can be at service of our being. Nir bho, nir ver. Nir bho means without fear. So it implies the absence of, um, um, let's say, um, conditions for the future. Uh, fear is something that we project in the future. The relationship with the unknown generates fear, can generate fear. So how can we establish a healthy fear that keeps us alert and awake without blocking us behind the walls of our projections or of the influences that come to us and that scare us. So Nirbo implies the idea of the future, a clear projection on the future, a clear, clear perception of the future, being ahead of the time. Nirver, ver means enemy or revenge. So without enemy or revenge. As fear, as Nirbo uh, works with fear, deals with fear and with the future, the sense of future, Nirver, Talking about uh, enemies and revenge um, involves the past, the existence of past stories that still condition us. So it's uh, having the mind completely clear um, about the past. Nothing is left. Nothing uh, still needs to be worked out. 
the past is past. Vaheguru. Akal Murata. So another paradoxical expression, it is the eighth part of the Mul Mantra. Akal means immortal or beyond the time. Murata means representation or shape. So a shape, a representation, which is um, deathless, immortal. And there's no shape actually that can resist time. There's no material representation that can resist time. So what Akal Murat says is that this uh, true identity, this self, this continuous self, this projection of the one is something that is in every shape and beyond every shape, in every form and beyond every form. It's the representation of infinity. How can we represent infinity? Ajuni. Ajuni means uh, beyond the womb, without a vagina, hmm? which means that is not incarnated, doesn't take birth through a human body. It doesn't come from a woman's womb. So its nature is self-existence. Ajuni uh, gives an idea of being beyond the law of reincarnation, something that is not subject to time and space. And that is Sabhang. And we arrive at the 10th part of the mantra. Sabhang means radiating self, the self-existing self. So a self that has no other cause except itself. We call it radiant body. Hmm? So all this journey is the journey of the conceivement of the radiant body. The soul Ikha, meets the consciousness, Satanam. And through this connection in time and space, it can give birth to something that is beyond, beyond time, beyond space. So this is our personal journey. Hopefully something that every soul uh, can be blessed to realize. At the same time, it describes something that is beyond, far beyond any uh, material incarnation. So the, the matrix of the universe, the matrix of infinity. Gura Prasad, the first part of the mantra ends with Gura Prasad, which means through the Guru's grace, by the Guru's grace. It's interesting to notice that literally Prasad means para, beyond, sadhu means taste or delight. So we can say through the Guru's sublime delight, sublime delight. Um, and this sublime delight is the taste of grace. Everything carries its, this taste. Everything exists because of the Guru's grace. Everything happens in the Guru's grace. And Guru's grace, is, through the Guru's grace, expresses this um, connection relationship between the self, the realized self, um, self illuminate self, sabhang, and the continuous presence of the universal consciousness. So we can also say, God and me, me and God are one, a journey that goes together, a permanent journey of the great one and of the big one, and the, of, the, of the great one and of the small one. So the one that includes whole, the whole, and every little one that is included. Japa. And here comes the repetition. Japa means inward repetition. Guru Nanak invites us to meditate on this journey and to repeat it until all is cleared up. All the past stories, all the fears, everything is cleared up until we don't realize this uh, sabhang, gure prasad, 
And when it happens, if it happens, if we are blessed by this um, great gift, so then keep repeating the journey, not for yourself, but for the other souls. Odd such, to God such, happy such, non si be such. Truth is in the beginning, truth is throughout the ages, truth is now, O oh, Nanak, truth shall be forever. This again establishes the thread, reveals the thread, the sutra that waves together the whole creation that links and connects each of us that is truth. Basically, the core of everything is truth, a supreme truth that is equal to God. So this is a very, uh, this is an invitation for you to keep on reflecting on the meaning of each word of the mantra. These are just some insights and uh, inspirations, but uh, please keep uh, reminding yourself what is your true identity, what is the true nature of all, how we are all connected through truth. Jump. So before closing, let's close our eyes and repeat once the mantra all together. Palm Sempreya Mudra. Inhale deeply. Exhale completely. And inhale to chant. Ik Om. Jogad Sachum Happy Sachum Nanaka Hosi P. Sachum Wahi Guruji Ka Khalsa Wahi Guruji Ki Pati Blessings, peace, love, and life to all. Wahe Guru. Wahe Guruji Ka Khalsa, Wahe Guruji Ki Fateh. Chapji Saib, Ik Omkar, Satnam, Karta, Purk, Nirpo, Nirvar. Akal Murat, Ajuni, Sapam, Gur Prasad, Jap. Ay the Sacha Juga the Sacha Happy Sacha Nanaka Hosi Pi Sacha